Hello, today's daily reading comes from Jeremiah chapter 9. As always stated prior to reading, get to a church that has Bible study or Sunday school where the word can be broken down and shared with you for an easier understanding. Also, get with some friends who break bread and just have church and understanding amongst one another. Uh, get you a Bible that you can read. There are numerous versions, King James and NIV. But most importantly, and above all the things I've said, call upon the Lord. If you knock at his door, he will answer and fill you up with wisdom if that is what you truly seek. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 9 reads as follows. Oh, that my head were a spring of water and my eyes a fountain of tears. I would weep day and night for the slain of my people. Oh, that I had the desert a lodging place for travelers so that I might leave my people and go away from them. For they are all adulterers, a crowd of unfaithful people. They make ready their tongue like a bow to shoot lies. It is not by truth they, that they triumph in the land. They go from one sin to another. They do not acknowledge me, declares the Lord. Beware of your friends. Do not trust anyone in your clan. For every one of them is a deceiver, and every friend is a slanderer. Friend deceives friend, and no one speaks the truth. They have taught their tongues to lie. They weary themselves with sh sinning. You live in the midst of deception and their deceit. They refuse to acknowledge me, declares the Lord. Therefore, this is what the Lord Almighty says. See, I will refine and test them. For what else can I do because of the sin of my people? Their tongue is a deadly arrow. It speaks deceitfully. With their mouths, they all speak cordially to their neighbors. But in their hearts, they set traps for them. Should I not punish them for this, declares the Lord? Should I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? I will weep and wail for the mountains and take up a lament concerning the wilderness grasslands. They are desolate and untraveled, and the lowing of cattle <coughs> excuse me, is not heard. The birds have all fled, and the animals are gone. I will make Jerusalem a heap of ruins, a haunt of jackals, and I will lay waste to the towns of Judah. No one can live there. Who is wise enough to understand this? Who has been instructed by the Lord and can explain it? Why has the land been ruined and laid waste like a desert that no one can cross? The Lord said, It is because they have forsaken my law, which I set before them. They have not obeyed me or followed my law. Instead, they have followed the stubbornness of their hearts. They have followed the balls, as their ancestors taught them. Therefore, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. See, I will make this people eat bitter food and drink poison water. I will scatter them among nations that neither they nor their ancestors have known, and I will pursue them with a sword until I have made an end of them. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Consider now. Call for the willing women to come. Send for the most skillful of them. Let them come quickly and wail over us till our eyes overflow with tears and water streams from our eyelids. The sound of wailing is heard from Zion. How ruined we are. How great is our shame. We must leave our land because our houses are in ruins. Now, you women, hear the word of the Lord. Open your ears to the words of his mouth. Teach your daughters how to will. Teach one another to a lament. Death has climbed in through our windows and has entered our fortresses. It has removed the children from the streets and the young men from the public squares. This is what the Lord declares. Dead bodies will lie like dung on the open field, like cut grain behind, behind the reaper with no one to gather them. This is what the Lord says. Let the wise boast of their wisdom or the strong boast of their strength or the rich boast of their riches. But let the one who boasts boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me. That I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in these I delight, declares the Lord. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will punish all who are circumcised only in the flesh. Egypt, Judah, Edom, Ammon, Moab, and all who live in the wilderness and distant places. For all these nations are really uncircumcised, and even the whole house of Israel is uncircumcised in heart. Jeremiah chapter 10. 
Hear what the Lord says to you, people of Israel. This is what the Lord says. Do not learn the ways of the nations or be terrified by the signs in the heavens. Though the nations are terrified by them, for the practices of the peoples are worthless. They cut a tree out of the forest, and a craftsman shapes it with his chisel. They adorn it with silver and gold. They fasten it with hammer and nails, so it will not totter. Like a scarecrow in a cucumber field, their idols cannot speak. They must be carried because they cannot walk. Do not fear them. They can do no harm, nor can they do any good. No one is like you, Lord. You are great, and your name is mighty in power. Who should not fear you, kings of the nations? This is your due. Among all the wise leaders of the nations and in all their kingdoms, there is no one like you. They are all senseless and foolish. They are taught by worthless wooden idols. Hammered silver is brought from Tarshish and gold from Ephaz. What the craftsmen and goldsmiths have made is then dressed in blue and purple. All made by skilled workers, but the Lord is the true God. He is the living God, the eternal King. When he is angry, the earth trembles. The nations cannot endure his wrath. Tell them this, these gods who did not make the heavens and the earth will perish from the earth and from under the heavens. But God made the earth by his power. He founded the world by his wisdom and stretched out the heavens by his understanding. When he thunders, the waters in the heavens roar. He makes clouds rise from the ends of the earth. He sends lightning with the rain and brings out the wind from his storehouses. Everyone is senseless and without knowledge. Every goldsmith is shamed by his idols. The images he makes are a fraud. They have no breath in them. They are worthless, the objects of mockery. When their judgment comes, they will perish. He who is the portion of Jacob is not like these. For he is the maker of all things, including Israel, the people of his inheritance. The Lord Almighty is his name. Gather up your belongings to leave the land, you who live under siege. For this is what the Lord says, at this time I will hurl out those who live in this land. I will bring distress on them so that they may be captured. Woe to me because, I, because of my inquiry. My wound is incurable, yet I said to myself, this is my sickness, and I must endure it. My tent is destroyed. All its ropes are snapped. My children are gone from me and are no more. No one is left now to pitch my tent or to set up my shelter. The shepherds are senseless and do not inquire of the Lord, so they do not prosper. And all their flock is scattered. Listen, the report is coming, a great commotion from the land of the north. It will make the towns of Judah desolate, a haunt of jackals. Lord, I know that people's lives are not their own. It is not for them to direct their steps. Discipline me, Lord, but only in due measure, not in your anger, or you will reduce me to nothing. Pour out your wrath of the nations that do not acknowledge you, on the peoples who do not call on your name. For they have devoured Jacob, they have devoured him completely, and destroyed his homeland. Amen.